A force is often defined as a push or a pull acting on an object. Now, in order to make that a little bit more of a reality, it's important to demonstrate some different kinds of forces to students. I'm going to be using a spring scale to measure a force. So here we have a spring scale. This is a manufactured by Ohaus. And along the one side we have the uh, scale measured in units of mass from 0 to 2000 for this particular one. Mass, of course, is not a unit for force. The unit for force is called the Newton, after Isaac Newton, abbreviated capital N. One Newton is equivalent to approximately 100 grams. And so this scale that you see here goes from 0 to 20 Newtons. For the purposes of the elementary school curriculum, this gives us a good enough precision. Now, many scales do not have a Newton scale or maybe even a Gram scale attached. And so what I've done in this particular case is uh, taped on a strip of paper with um, the markings in Newtons so that we can use this for measuring forces. So when I pull down to this level here, for example, we have approximately 10 Newtons. Most scales also have an adjustment on them in, in case they're not zero. So when you see this, and if it's not on zero, the scale can actually slide back and forth by pulling on the end, as I'm showing here. And you can then adjust the scale so that the zero point is in the right position. So this is manufactured by another company, but the principle is exactly the same. Inside, we have a spring attached then to a hook, and we can then um, put a, an object on the end and pull it. This particular one goes from 0 to 500 grams, or 0 to 5 newtons. We have a, another one here, and this particular one has a slightly stronger spring, and it goes from 0 to 1,000 grams, or 0 to 10 newtons. It's uh, good to have a variety of different scales available in the classroom. These scales are not overly expensive and uh, this gives the students a good chance to try different scales. We'll be using these spring scales for a number of different activities. I have here a 2 liter pop bottle to which I've attached a wire hook using some fairly heavy copper wire, you can use any kind of wire, so that I can hang it up. I've filled it with water so that its mass is 2 kilograms or 2,000 grams. So you can see by looking at the balance that it's reading 2,000 grams, including then the water and the container we have a total mass of 2,000 grams. Now there's also, of course, a force acting on this object, a downward force that we call a gravitational force. And I can measure that gravitational force using my spring scale. And so when I hook the spring scale and lift up the mass, the scale then will read 20 newtons, which then is a measure of the gravitational force acting on the mass. The weight is really a measure of gravitational force. Weight and mass are not the same. Weight depends on gravity, and so if the gravitational force changes, the weight 
of an object changes as well. The mass is a measure of how much matter is in this container. That does not change unless I unscrew the cap and pour some of the water out. Then its mass changes. The mass of this is the same irrespective of where we determine its mass. And we determine the mass using a balance. The gravitational force on the moon, for example, is about one-sixth the gravitational force here on Earth. So the, the mass of this object on the moon is still or two kilograms, two thousand grams, but the gravitational force will be one-sixth that, so one-sixth of 20 newtons, uh, just over three 